You mind getting a shot of me with the snake? It is early yet again, but I'm headed south to go find some snakes today. Um, packed lunch and everything to do my part to help. I don't intend on at, in, interacting with any humans today, uh, aside from my buddy Ian, and obviously we're gonna <laughs> limit physical contact. Ian's doing the first door knock of the day. Uh, there's some tin over here. We're trying to get permission to flip it. Doesn't look like anyone's home, though. Very rusty. right there. Look at that. Got a nice fog through my dirty windshield. Hopefully this will keep it cool today for a while. It doesn't get too hot for tin flipping. That's where the old man's house was. Oh no. Is there still stuff there? Why are there so many spiders here? Is that all we're gonna find today? Yeah, dude. As long as we keep hitting these crotchety old 2010 sites. <laughs> Man, this is awesome looking. There's a couple things to flip right here board that's in an ant pile. It's not going to do me much good. This is what we've been reduced to. We'll find a different way back. <laughs> All right, guys, first turp of the day. Big broadhead skink under 10. Please don't bite me. We're just going to put this guy back and keep herping. Ow! Nice. Come on. <laughs> it's not much, but it's honest work. Okay. Alright, if we don't find a snake here, we're not finding anything today. Let's get into it. Whew! There we go. Surely enough, under the gigantic sheet of roofing that I had to use both my hands and Ian had to help with with our first snake of the day, Big Timber. <sighs> I gotta go get my camera from the car, but what a good start. It took us forever to finally get a snake. It's about noon already. And one piece of tin gave us a big timber. Serve him up like a pizza. <laughs> <laughs> he actually struck. That's not the best. Okay, okay. Curl up for us again, buddy. Decent sized snake, though. All right, guys, here's another look at our first snake of the day. A big, grumpy, about to shed timber rattlesnake. Uh, these guys down here, according to Ian, can have some really great coloration once they shed. But, uh, this guy's not quite there yet, so we're gonna put him back under his piece of tin. And uh, we've only maybe hit maybe a fourth of what's at this spot, maybe a little closer to half. So we're just gonna flip this guy back under his tin and see if we can get anything else. That's a close to four feet, right? Yeah, decent sized one. Go back under there. That, uh, that tortoise you got in the van was big. Yeah, it was about this size, I think. He's gonna go for it. There we go. Nice, nice. Let's see what else we can turn up. Baskin. Next snake of the day, a little racer coiled up in the grass right here. I went to check this well and I walked right past him without even seeing him. South Georgia Mamber. And there he goes. 
All right. Not anywhere obvious. Alright guys, just spotted our second cane break of the day sitting over there in the open. A little pinky? Yeah, a little bit pink. See him right there. We're gonna get some in C2 shots. Alright guys, here's a closer look at our second timber of the day. This one looks like it might be a little female. It's a little bit smaller than the last one, but probably girthier for its size. Nice pink undertones, but uh, still hasn't shed. So we're probably gonna do what we did with the last snake. Just leave this guy right here. Try not to mess with it as much as possible. And uh, see what else we can turn up. Two rattlesnakes for the day, though. All right, guys, you got some board action. Little little one about this big, as Ian said. Did I say that? Yeah. Oh, this one's going to be a wet boy, too. I think we should go for this one. Yeah. You want me to get on that other corner? Yeah. All right. Oh man. That was beautiful. Man, we found the boards. Now it's just time to find out if we found the snakes too. No, we found the crickets. We just got permission to dig through this guy's tin. And man. and hand them up to you. So we stopped at this guy's house. Chad's the man. Chad is the man. This man, Chad, has so much tin behind his house. And he, he's letting us dig through it. The problem is there's just so much of it. We can't find, we can't even really start digging into it because there's so much. But we're gonna do what we can. Those pieces over there look good. Half in the sun, half out. Mm -hmm. Acts manageably sized. This stuff. Oh, what the? Is there a bird in here? Dude. Man, Chad. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. This is all tin. Look at this. This is a stack of like 20 pieces. You can't even begin to get into this stuff. Because there's just so much of it. No, this, this is like 20 pieces. Just that. This is like 200. we can get into it. Yeah. The problem is there's more underneath it. <laughs> I don't even know. I feel like this is going to be the money stack though. Partially in the sun. Partially out. There we go. Our first snake. Oh, here at Chad's place. Nice. <laughs> nice gray rat. In shed. We have all of this that we haven't flipped yet. There are snakes here though, confirmed. He's like, ah. All right, you good? You want me to let him go? Yeah, let him go. All right. Sorry to temporarily relocate you, but we have to get to the bottom of your 10 stack, buddy. I think it's only two. So if we can get them up. Just enough to peek under there. You got it? YouTube. Look at this, dude. I'm just standing on tin. Well, Chad, we appreciate you letting us flip your tin, but there's so much of it that we can't even really flip it because there's just so much of it. Sometimes it really do be that way. On to the next one. It's too hot for tin, so we're going to be flipping boards for the rest of the day. Hopefully, they'll do us right. No, no, they will not do us right. Model. 
All right, guys, we're back with Parker and Sean. Me and Ian have been flipping all day, <laughs> meeting up with these guys. And uh, we just coincidentally ran into each other right here and flipped our next snake of the day, a beautiful baby Scarlet King snake in this little so pile of tin. Wow. So nice. I just heard you like babbling incoherently. I was like, what, Parker, speak? And then I saw it wiggling. <laughs> we found yesterday, um, the landowner rolled up like right when we found it. It's your second ever ring neck, Parker. Oh, shit. <laughs> almost lost it. Nice. Whoa, almost lost SK. So pretty. Holy crap. A beautiful little snake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, here's another look at this Scarlet King snake. We just flipped a minute ago while he's sitting still. We're about to put this guy back under his piece of tin. Um, we kind of were worried that it was getting a little too hot because we hadn't seen anything in a while, but there you go. Nice stack, uh, stayed nice and cool at the bottom. All right, guys, we're taking the Scarlet King back to his tin stack. All right, buddy. He didn't like that layer. All right, guys, it's getting pretty late. We haven't seen anything since the Scarlet King. I'm uh, hitting a couple more flip spots. But tonight, I think we're gonna try to night shine. Let's see what we can turn up on that. What is this, a piece of the Titanic or something? It's like a pool liner. But what is going on? Um, yeah, we should be able to get it if we just go for it. Okay. Get it, get it, get it, get it! No! Guys, here we have, Ian has a mole skink that was under that. Parker has the king snake. <laughs> he almost lost down a hole. <laughs> I had to stop recording. And then Sean flips this monster of a coach whip right next to it. Awesome, awesome. Well, I am definitely glad we came to the spot. Look at that neck patterning. Oh my goodness. That You can tell that thing's gonna be pretty too because of how wide it yeah. is in the shed. <laughs> Are you wanting to be done with it? He's big though, I mean. It's pretty cool. You can see how long he is. I definitely want camera pictures. Yeah, I might get a close shot to the coach. All right, guys, here's another look at this king snake. This thing has some insane patterning on the front quarter. Beautiful snake. Too bad it's in shed, but really probably would be one of the nicest kings I've seen this year, if not the nicest, if it was out of shed. But we ended the day pretty strong. I wasn't really expecting to flip too much, but this spot came in clutch with the king snake, coach whip, and mole skink. So that's pretty cool. Let's there go. There we go. First snake of the night. Let's go. Look at that face, dude. It's in shed too. Yeah, I think. All right, guys, there you go. Eastern mud snake. First and probably the only snake of the night. Um, kind of definitely dull in comparison to the westerns you saw in my other video, but still an awesome find nonetheless. I spotted this guy coming out of a pile of rocks in the water. But we're probably just gonna let this guy go and see if we can find somewhere else to hurt. Whoa, he just took off. There is an owl hanging out right there. I don't blind him too much, but pretty cool. Nice looking barred owl. Anyways, we're probably gonna call it a day and I'm gonna head home.